my glory. They say I must be wrong. Hey guys, I'm back. This is part three. So we've done the second wash here. And it's looking beautiful. Nice and juicy. We're still working here with this. It's still it's still draining. So it's gonna be a few minutes. But what you do, uh, I kind of get a little anxious here at the end. And without breaking the paper, I'll squeeze out the rest of that alcohol. I'll give it a nice squeeze. Here you go. Okay. We'll get the second filter on for the second wash. The struggle for struggle. <laughs> the heck, once this is on good, it's on good. Alright, so then we're going to take this and we are going to drain for the second time. It's the second wash. And just please be real careful with this product because one slip and you got $300 worth of liquid all over the counter. Just be careful. I've had a couple of slip ups here myself already through the process. <laughs> You'll learn the hard way, I guess, you know. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Get everything you can out of this. I usually squeeze it right up against the edge of the jar. I'm going to get every drop out of this puppy we can. Yeah. And then after I do this part, I kind of turn it like that, you know, and just let whatever else drain down there. I mean, it might be the difference in a day or two's worth of oil. Like that's why I like to shove it up against the edge. It'll stay there and then we'll get a nice little tray of the rest. In the meantime, this is just going to have to do its thing. So I'll be back. guys so um last video we had a rice cooker died on us on um, the element burnt out uh, what we were doing was we had laid down the bud onto the edge here to let it drain out as you can see it's all dried up now so we did we drained out whatever we could from the oil and we let it drip into here as you can see this is all definitely Done its thing, get rid of this. It's completely dried out. And um, we're gonna take this. We've got about about that much water. We want it to be here. See with this, it's a roundier base. So I'm a little worried about it flopping around in here. But uh I'm gonna turn this on high. Wanna add a little bit more water? I like to have the oil level with the water, yeah, the water on the outside, of course the oil's on the inside in the jar. And that's it, so for this, this is going to be a few hours of boiling. Hi guys, so right now this is, um, the oil is bubbling in the jar in the water, in the rice cooker, and we're gonna have it do this for eh, about an hour and a half or so. It's gonna bubble like this. Temperature never gets to the to the height where the THC and CBD would be burned off. So you keep all your medicinal properties. That's why we use a rice cooker. Stay away from um, a slow cooker because slow cookers do get up to temperatures above 300 degrees and you're just gonna waste 
your your bud then. So that's it. We'll be back to you in a little while. Bye. So this stuff is going to boil down. It's going to take about an hour and a half, like I said. But it's, I like this jar because I can fit my hand into it. Um, it's it's pretty hot though now. So let me get a second glove. Show you the um. It looks like a lot in the beginning. It's going to boil down to a much smaller amount, as you can see. It's still pretty liquidy. We don't want to spill this. You're in trouble if you spill this. It's, it's a lot of oil there. But it's going to just keep on bubbling like this for a while with the boiling water around it. Try and keep it kind of level. You know, we want the water to be close to the same level that the the mixture is our product. On that note, I'm going to end up uh, boiling up a little more water and just keep an eye on it. Um, I'm going to get a fan as well, put a fan on here and have a fan blowing. See, right now we're pretty lucky because we've got high ceilings, but you need to be careful of ventilation. Um, I like this idea here as well with the steam because the steam goes up and then the alcohol evaporates on the inside. It seems like it's kind of a protective, you know, surrounding for it, but I'm I'm not sure. I don't know very much about science. I just I know this right now, um, and um, yeah, I'm gonna get a little fan. I'll put a little fan on and blow it. We've got the the switch is right there, so we're gonna want to blow away. So we don't want the alcohol getting into the element in here because that could cause an explosion. But it's I mean. Just, yeah, keep some good ventilation and everything should be okay. And this is going to keep on boiling for, God, it'll be another hour, an hour and a half maybe. Um, and just keep an eye on it, keep checking it. And it's going to turn into some beautiful oil, additional lovely, lovely oil. Okay, guys, this has been going for about an hour and a half here. Um, it's an ounce of um, Bubba Kush. Um, there was about a third of an ounce of oil, a third of an ounce worth of oil in here already so this is going to be a little bigger than normal but we're still going, it's still breaking down slowly. I'm going to keep it boiling for another while. I'm going to add a little bit more boiling water and just you know keep an ear on it. You, you can kind of hear the bubbling slows down. Okay guys, so we're still here bubbling away. It's been about another 20 minutes. Um, I turned it down. There's only two settings on this. One is cook and one is warm. Heat and cook, something like that. Um, but it started bubbling up quite a bit. There at the end you can smell it. You can. It smells like hash, you know. So right now this is what we have. It's a, see, it's a little, still a little bit liquidy for my liking. But what we're going to do now is we're going to do this where we're going to add, I let it cool down for a couple of minutes so it's not just frantically bubbling anymore. Ah, oh, that smells good. We're going to add a few drops of water, say like four or five drops of water into here. And then I'm going to turn it back on high heat, let it bubble for five minutes or so. And then that's it. It's going to be done. Um, yeah. Uh. Here it goes back on high and literally just some drops. You don't want to go too much, just a little bit. I'm going to get this back and be bubbling in a minute. Mm. You can tell when it's almost cooked because if you just kind of stick your nose over it, you'll smell the alcohol or the lack thereof. And right now I'm not really smelling any alcohol. And also this is really close. It's nice to have it liquidy but not, not quite that liquidy. 
We'll give this a few minutes and I'll be back to you guys for the finish.